There's a lot of FFA members in the state of Arizona. There's a lot of uh, volunteer leaders, a lot of administrators, but the one that was honored as the administrator of the year happens to be from Yuma, from the Yuma Union High School District. His name is Harold Kirshner. Harold received this award recently as that top administrator from the FFA. And Harold, uh, what uh, does it mean to be the administrator of the year? How did you get that title? Well, I'm real proud of this. The kids nominated me. The Yuma Union High School District FFA nominated me, and it was submitted to the state. And the state officers, which are also students, selected my name. So I, I take that as great pride. Now tell us a little bit about your, your uh, career and your job here in Yuma, Union, Yuma Union High School District. I'm the vocational education director. I get to work with all the vocational programs that the high school district has to offer. Uh, that's with all three comprehensive high schools and VISTA, the alternative school. Now you not only get involved in, in FFA, but you have other kids too you get involved with. Yes, sir, I do. Uh, we have the FBLA, the VICA, the DECA, the HERO. These are all vocational student organizations. Can I ask you a question? This is uh, something that's always been on my mind in the state of Arizona. Wisconsin has vocational schools. Do you think we'll ever have that in Arizona? We do have it in Arizona. We have it in Mesa. We have it in Phoenix. Uh, whether we'll ever have one here in Yuma, that's that's a dream and of mine, and we are working towards that. But I, I can't say whether we'll ever get one or not. Certainly a great thing for people. There's kids that really need that, and of course the kids need FFA. Why? It teaches leadership skills, it teaches uh, work ethics, it teaches uh, self-esteem skills. It, it provides him a tool to get involved in their school and in their profession. Harold, what do you do with the FFA hands-on? The FFA does a lot of business management skills. They also are involved in ag mechanics. They have lab science, or working with plants, animals, all ranges of the agri agriculture field. Now, do you do anything yourself personally to help the kids? Any chance I get. When I'm invited, I get involved. This year, I'll probably get involved a little more. My daughter, freshman at COFA, will be in the FFA. So, and Do you get out and teach the kids yourself? If given an opportunity, I work with their field days here. Mm -hmm. I, uh, we have three, four now, excellent FFA ag teachers. And they do an excellent job. And a couple of the students that started with me uh, with FFA from Kofa High School, Larry Klein, look where he is today at CBS in New York as a producer. It, FFA is not just ag. It teaches the kids, like I said, leadership skills and yeah. self-esteem self skills. And Larry Klein started as a farm broadcaster with me many years ago, 20 years ago, and look where he is today. I guess you've seen all kinds of, of uh, really success stories. Yes, I have. There's a lot of people here in Yuma County that have started off at our high schools in the FFA that are very successful. Now, what do you look for in the future? Do you plan on keep on digging for this thing? Always. As long as I'm in the educational profession, I will be working with the FFA. Well, two honors, this one from the state of Arizona, the Arizona FFA and Administrator of the Year, recently a new one from your peers. I was honored by the Arizona Ag Teachers Association as the Administrator of the Year as well. What an honor it is to be associated with the FFA. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Harold uh, Kirshner with the Yuma Union High School District and very much part of the FFA. I'm George Gatley, and that is First News Today.